Hi, my name is Lisa Erickson. I'm a senior 3D specialist with Browseware. I've been working in 3D for the past seven years. My background is in apparel development and pattern making. Most recently, I was working as a technical designer with Nike. The tip that I've chosen to show you today is how you can update the textures or skins of your avatars in vStitcher. This is a really fun way to create new looks for presentation purposes, marketing, or creating social media posts. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to the folder that holds the information about the textures for your avatars. It's quite a long pathway, but um, once you have navigated to it, you can just take a screenshot of the final path and you'll easily be able to find it again. So you'll want to create a copy of uh, any of the textures in the existing folder for the avatar so that you can start creating a new uh, look to it. You are going to open that folder and uh, from there you can open them up in Photoshop and make modifications. I know they look a little bit crazy. Um, it is a map of the skin, um, so it does look a little bit wild, uh, but from here you'll be able to add in any new look that you want. For example, adding in some makeup, you can add in blush and eyeshadow. Best practice is to just name your layers once you create them in Photoshop so you can easily keep track of them. From there you can then also duplicate them and just flip them horizontally because this map is set up symmetrically so that saves you a bit of time. So you can then just go through here and add any new looks that you want to your avatar. Um, you are able to choose the skin textures for any of the avatars that are available with uh, vStitcher. From here you can also add in some tattoos for example, pulling in new uh, images to add to the skin of your avatar. Once you have created the look that you are happy with, you're going to want to save those in the new folder that you created. Um, you can just go ahead and save them on top of the existing textures in that folder and it will resave those. You can also modify the look of the hair on your avatar and save those to that same folder as well. You're going to then want to open up vStitcher and with your right click menu you can navigate to these new textures that you have created and load them onto any of the avatars in vStitcher, creating a new look for you to render out. You're not limited just to skin textures though. Um, you could also create all over prints to be applied as a texture and creating a really unique look for you to use. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this tip and it gave you some ideas for how you can create new and unique um, looks for presentation purposes or fun social media posts. Have a lot of fun with it and happy stitching.